So I have a ready primed my eye from lash line to brow bone and I have applied my tape because I want for this to look a nice sharp crease. And for the first color that's going to go in the inner corner is I'm using Maybelline's Eye Studio in 20 Sapphire Siren and I am using the white. We need a nice shimmery white. And now I'm using my Sonia Kashuk Small eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to apply that shimmery white in the inner part of my tear duct. And this right here, my primer is not creasing, it's just, again, my lids are hooded and when I open my eyes, it makes the um, primer do that. I just blend it out before I apply color, color. but the, the base that I am using is not making, is not creasing, it's just my hooded lids. The next color that I'm going to use is a Beauty from the Earth pigment, and this pigment is like a, kind of like a bright red and it's called Addicted and it's from Beauty from the Earth and I'm applying that right here and blending with the white Now I know it looks like we overtaken the white, but I'm going to go back and apply that white. And I'm also taking that and applying it right in the bottom tear duct area. Like so. This is a face front cosmetics uh, pigment and it's called acrylic apple tort and it looks like this. The next color that I'm going to take is a Beauty from the Earth pigment and this is an Isis. It looks like this. It's like a burgundy kind of color but more with a, more like a reddish burgundy color. Now I know I took these colors really high. I was going to do something different but since my eyelid is only but so big I'm going to I'm going to end up cutting my crease right here. It's okay that we took the colors too high. I for some reason I thought that I had more a little bit more room but I don't want to put too many colors for this look and overwhelm the look with too much red and then the emphasis on that last color will disappear and I don't want that so I'm changing the plan midway <laughs> so sorry guys the next color I'm gonna apply is a forest green and I'm gonna use that to cut the crease and when you take eyeshadows really high like this I'm gonna sh it's still if the color is darker than the color you use on your lid you'll still be able to cut your crease and you won't be able to see the colors in the bottom cut and the color that I'm gonna use to cut my crease is 
this green forest green color by Ingela or any forest green that you have available and I'm going to use Max 219 and I'm going to cut my crease switch brushes I'm gonna switch to my elf brush I'm switching where is it I'm gonna switch to max 275 it's an angled brush I go back with my 219 to define that line. My elf angled brush to the and I'm going to take my elf brush to define that line. I'm going to take my MAC 275 and I'm going to blend those colors out. My MAC 259 and I'm taking this white by Ingla and I'm going to use that as my highlight and I'm going to blend that down. like so and I'm going to take a q-tip and I'm going to fix this area right here I'm going to apply some makeup remover and I'm going to apply Mary Kay's makeup remover on my q-tip like so blend the white and the green together and this is max 224 like so and now we're going to take off our tape gently and we have the nice crisp line and what I'm going to do now I'm going to apply liquid liner, mascara, and eyeliner. And then we'll be back with you guys. Okay guys, I have applied my liquid liner, my eyeliner on my waterline, and I applied my Andrea's number 33 lashes. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm gonna take my smudge brush, and this is by Mark. I'm gonna spray it with Max Fix Plus on in my inner corner like so the next color I'm going to apply is red light 
and I'm going to apply that to the I'm going to apply that on the middle portion of my lid using the same brush I'm just going to wipe it off on a towel and apply more fix plus to it you do not want a damp brush you don't you do not want a wet brush you want a slightly damp brush And for the outer corner, I'm just going to clean off this um, fallout. That's the one thing about pigments, is that sometimes there could be some fallout, but I still love to use pigments. I love pigments. There we go. And for the this uh, corner right here, we're going to use the same brush, and we're going to use a purple. I am using... Poison Plum by Sugar Pill and it looks like so like so I'm going to apply the mascara on my bottom lashes. And this completes her look. I hope you guys enjoyed this accidental rose roses rose garden inspired makeup look. I mean accidental cut crease because my initial intention was not to do a cut crease but it that's the way it turned out um, I actually really like this I love it and um, comment work subscribe and until my next video I hope you guys have a great one